Hi, this is Adrian Larson, President of Pathlight, here with your Pathlight Insight. And I want to talk to you today about the market, market weakness in reaction to what seems to be the falling apart of trade talks between China and the U.S. Uh, ultimately, as we're filming this, U.S. markets are down roughly 25 to 3%. Uh, and that comes on the heels of what happened on Thursday of last week, uh, which was a breakdown in those talks, uh, the ultimate raising of tariffs on $200 billion of extra goods from China by the U.S. on Friday, and then what you would expect, retaliation this morning, Monday, uh, by China raising tariffs on another $60 billion of U.S. goods. So not a positive tone uh, to trade and ultimately to this trade deal, uh, and really, what had happened here was we had risen to new highs in the S&P 500. We reached those new highs of 29.45 on uh, April 30th based on this expectation that we would get this trade deal done. We had been hearing and seeing headlines uh, that we were uh, positively positioned uh, to have the culmination of this trade talk uh, end in what would be a trade deal that would uh, positively benefit economic growth uh, in 2019 and beyond. But ultimately what we got was uh, the falling part of that. Um, but when we start to think about uh, the underlying market and the companies that make up those indices, um, we've had roughly 75% of the S&P 500 companies report their first quarter 2019 earnings. Uh, and of those 75% of those companies, 75% are beating those on the earnings line. Now we had come into 2019 on a very negative earnings note. The market was expecting a down 5% year over year earnings number in the first quarter of 2019. But the surprise from the companies is actually driving that aggregate growth number up to a positive 1% in earnings growth. So not obviously gangbusters from a growth perspective, that, but this comes on the heels last year of over 20% earnings growth. So still to get that growth, to kind of beat these expectations and to move forward, that creates a solid underpinning for us to be able to continue to move higher once we kind of digest these negative headlines around the trade issue. Um, we've already had solid performance this year in the S&P 500 as of kind of Friday night. Uh, the S&P was up roughly 15% uh, year to date. So it's been a, a solid year so far. But I think we're just going to ultimately end up having to deal with a little bit more volatility as we get these trade headlines, which are going to be with us probably for the next couple of months. Um, and hopefully we get some level of resumption and we get moving more toward uh, the positive conclusion. But until that happens, just expect a little bit more volatility. But know that the companies that we're working with and investing in uh, are ultimately doing what they can to offset that and posting better numbers than we're expected. Uh, if you need any help or want to talk about any of this volatility, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We're here for you. Thanks a lot.